What up and welcome to the ultimate shape showdown. Today we got the square and the triangle. Which one's better? Which one is the best? Tune in to find out. First up, the square. Great shape. Speaking of shapes, I got I got every every flavor and I even got extras since you guys suggested Vegemite. We're going to be trying every single shape and ranking it a score out of five in four different categories. The categories include taste, obviously, shape, obviously, price, not so obviously, but it's we're including it in. And lastly, UI, not user interface but user experience. If you're wondering what that could entail, stay tuned. All right, first up, we're starting with one of the classics, the chicken crimpy. All right. We've got uh, some splittage on the side of this packet, which is a, is a down mark. We're gonna give this a two for user experience because that is not ideal. Now, onto the taste. Fantastic taste. It's not too much, it's not too little. Some would say it's right on the money. And the biscuit just has the, a nice amount of sweetness to contrast the salty chicken crimpy flavor. I'm gonna have to give that one a five. Now, for shape, it's just one of the larger shapes. I would like to be able to just put the whole thing in the mouth. Now with a chicken crimpy, it's a bit of a difficult task. You've got all edges of your mouth filled up with a crimpy. So that often means you need to do a break in half and you get crumbs. They should have called it chicken crumby. <laughs> anyway, for that reason, I give the shape a one. Horrific shape. Ah, lastly, price. Got this on special at Woolies for $2.50, so we'll give that, that's kind of steep for a special. We'll give him a three for price. Triple cheese toasty. I've never had this before. Okay, it's not looking good. Ah, oh, yep. User experience really straight out the window. That is, that's scoring a zero. That is about the worst case uh, scenario you could have Ugh. As far as taste, gonna have to also give that about a two, because that is horrific, you know? There's still, I mean, it's still edible, but it's not really enjoyable. Now this shape is kind of like a, a, an isosceles triangle with the point cut off, which is good, easy to grab, easy to place. You go five for the shape, they've hit the nail on the head there. Now price, that's where this gets interesting. It was on special for $1.60. I think that's about as cheap as you've ever seen shapes. I'm gonna go a five for price there because that is unbeatable. All right, moving on to uh, one of the original flavors now, savory. So let's just hope the user experience really backs me up here because that has been letting us down here today. And you know what? Ah, we all... We did have a bit of a side split and it was a little bit bigger than on the chicken crimpies. We almost had it, but it just was a bit too much glue on that top end. So user experience, we're gonna have to give it a one, unfortunately, just not what the perfect break we're after. Now shape, this is where it gets interesting because this is like a combination of so many different shapes. We've got a triangle shape, which a little bit sharp, but not too sharp, it's actually quite nice. Then we got the hexagon taken from the old barbecue. I guess they must have had a few of them lit, uh, sitting around. And then we got like, this jigsaw puzzle. They, they're opposites. This one here is not the greatest. So that brings it down a bit. I'm gonna go a three. No, a four. The variety is good. The variety of shape is good. So we're going a four. Taste, very plain, very plain. Really almost no flavor, but it, it lets you experience the original flavor of the, of the biscuit. So I'm gonna go a four for flavor as well. It might be controversial, 
He's given a four to flavor to the savory. But hey, look, that's just my personal opinion. Price, that one was $2.50, so another three. Cheddar cheese, classic, great, classic, great one. Really just praying for uh, a five for user experience here. Yep, yeah, okay, 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 that is what we're after, guys. Look at that. That is the perfect packet open. No, no splits down the side. Beautiful, that's a five. Now, shape, quite, uh, some might say a boring shape. You know, we've seen this in the biscuit world before. It's good, but it's almost too long. Yep, that's all I need to, to score this bad boy. Shape, we're going to three. Almost too big, but not too big, and actually quite comfortable in the mouth. Flavor, it's got, it's just got a bit of oomph, but that, the, the way that they replicate the cheese flavor is just not great. I'm gonna go another three for flavor. And price, that was uh, $2.50 on special with the other classics, so that's another three. Triple threes, baby, a hat trick of the hat tricks. Fantastic, that opened rather well. Done the job, another five there. All right, now shape, that Looks like a, 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 a saw, a wood saw. Well above the other cheese orientated flavors. I'm gonna go a four for taste. You, you don't really have a direct path of entry because it's a, a, an equal shape. You got a decision to make. It's good, but because it's not a narrow, it's a lot more chomping. Yeah, let's go a three for shape there. Now price. It was $2.50, but it was at the top, it was the top shelf. So I had to reach hard. So we're gonna go a two for price there. Next up is pizza. Pizza shapes always open on the money. I don't know what it is, I don't know how, but they always, that's straight off the bat of five for user interface, user experience. Now, uh, taste. Mm. They pack it on. They pack it on almost too much. These used to be good back in the day, but it's just a bit dated. I'm gonna go a three for taste. It's just, it just doesn't cut it anymore. The shape, however, I see a lot of inspiration from this and uh, the cheese toasty flavor. The narrow kind of simple shape, really great for the mouth. So the shape, however, I'm gonna to have to go ahead and give it a five. It's almost perfect. Price, this one was uh, $2.50 again, like the other originals, so that's a three. And that's a pretty good score for the uh, pizza shapes, but. Stick around to find out the final verdict. At the end, what comes after pizza? A double cheeseburger. Now this shocked me. This really shocked me. This was only limited to Coles and the steak and onion was only limited to Woolies. So I really, I ran around town to get these. $1.60 it was for price, so that's a five for price. Right off the bat, really great. Let's dig into it. User, in, again, again, they just, they, they just don't make them like. That's quite disgusting, the smell actually. They just don't make them like they used to. The packet's ripped. That's, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a one. That's a one, that is not ideal. We got a little bit of inconsistency. I don't know what's going on here. That's the shape we're going for, which is the same as the cheese flavor. As I've just picked up, these three new flavors are all the same shape. So that was a five for the cheese toasty, so. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to carry that over. I'm not even kidding, it tastes like a banana. Like a lolly banana would taste. What the heck? There's a bit of mustard, whoa. It's only just bearable, and for that, I give it a one. The smell alone is horrendous, but if you ever try this, and you think it tastes like a banana, let me know, because that is strange. The classic, barbecue shapes. Probably one of the most popular flavors amongst many people. But me, no, not, not. For some reason in my house growing up, this was the flavor that always got bought. So that, that was the only one. So for me, that means I, I really am over it. Okay, okay, geez. That has really turned this whole thing around. User, user experience there, beyond perfect. I really want this to score low, but that experience of opening that packet was actually amazing. I know it's supposed to be out of five, but I cannot let that go unnoticed. That's a six for user interface. $2.50, that's a three. 
As far as the shape goes, I'd say that's about as big as, as you could get. The chicken crimpy, too big. This is on the borderline. I just let it slide. That's a four for shape. Now, taste. Like the pizza shapes, barbecue is just a little bit out of its time. You know, it's just a little bit out of sync. It's got a bit of a tang to it. I, I remember I could never get through a box of shapes without a bit of water. For many, that's a thrill that they like to chase, but for me, knocks it down. I'm gonna go a three for taste. Now, right off the bat, I, ha I, hate, I hated to have to buy this packet because this was not when the uh, normal shapes at Woolies were on special for $2.50 and it wasn't when the wacky shapes were on special for $1.60 at Coles because this was a Woolies exclusive packet. This box of shapes cost $3.80. Maybe it was $3.20. Yeah, I, it was actually probably $3.20, but still, that's extortion. That's a, that's a fat zero for price, but let's rip into it. And once again, look, the three new flavors have all scored very poorly on the user experience. They just don't build them like they used to. That is intense smell. But uh, you, yeah, that's another one for user experience, not ideal. Shape, we've seen it all before. You know, that's a, what is it? That's a five? For sh I've been giving that a five. That's a pretty good shape, actually. Yeah, five. Now, oh, God, no. Steak and onion. Sizzling steak and onion. You know what? That ain't as bad as my first, first thought. They've packed a lot of flavor on there, and it's very kind of sweet, which is strange. But I actually say that's not bad. I'm gonna give that a four. Give that a four. That's actually, you know, they surprised me there. I was a bit shocked to start with, but they brought it home. What are these? Cheese and bacon. Oh, uh, these classics really have been opening well. That's a five. That, almost even a six again. You know, I'm gonna knock the barbecue down to a five from the six and give the cheese bacon a five as well. That, that was a great open. That was... Fantastic. Now the shapes, uh, we have some opposites here. We have like some ins and outs, you know? Like two pillows. It's not the greatest shape. Very sharp, many sharp edges. Ah, oh, ah. That shape gets a two. Just not ideal. Price, $2.50, th that's three. Three for, three for price. And uh, taste, two, no, there's nothing there. It's just, it's, I've, I have no words. It's just, it is what it is, and it is just lackluster. And that brings us along to the final contender. There's the current scoreboard, just so you know, I have actually been keeping count. I haven't been pretending to write, all right? This is it. This is the moment. Right off the bat, price, $1.60, five. Okay, okay, they are, okay. They are giving this a little bit of extra treatment in the packing department. That was life, that was a life changing <laughs> Oh, I'm actually, I, I'm overwhelmed with joy. That has, I, that, that has to be the best, most clean packet open of shapes I've ever experienced. Look at that. That is not even a single, te oh my, how did they do it? Why can't they engineer every packet with that amount of love? Wow, I, I have to... I know I did a six on the barbecue. I knocked that down to a five, but that is truly a six. And nobody can argue with that. Now, the shape is is mini Australia's. That's pretty cool. That's That, that, that would have taken a little bit of thought. That shape and this mouth, perfect together. That's a five. That is... Not only is it my home country, smooth around the edges, didn't poke my cheeks, fitted in there nicely, only took a few, cr there's a lot of break points. So in one crunch, you could potentially knock this into three or four pieces, which saves drastic amount of time in the chew zone. The taste, very tame, very bland. For Vegemite flavor, it's not at all like the, the, the Vegemite you would think. And for that, I commend them. That is very, that is, not only bearable, but nice. I'm gonna go a four. That's every shape's flavor tasted. Uh, it's on to the big moment. The tally and the, and, and the, 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 the positioning. That's the loadout, ladies and gentlemen. Best 
to worst. Somehow, the flavor that I thought, I actually thought the flavor was pretty good. I gave this a four for flavor and I enjoyed it. But it scored a 10 overall because that price really gave the, uh, uh, a kick in the ass to the score for that. And our champion, who would have thought? But really, the combination of everything gave this shape the perfect score, 20 out of 20. And that settles it, the, the, the much desired video on Arnott's shapes. And now I can put that category to rest. I don't even like shapes. I, I don't remember the last time I bought and ate a packet of shapes for my enjoyment. Shapes give me indigestion, like acid reflux, like pain through my body. I hate, I hate shapes. I can't believe I've poured this much money into the company. I'm never eating shapes. I'm going to donate all these packets to, I'm going to just go to random tradies having smoko and say, hey, I took a few shapes out of this. You want it? I don't know. I'll do what I can, but I hate shapes. Don't eat them. They're so bad for you. The, the, the MSG, it's just a combination of things that are bad for you in a bite-sized biscuit. You want a snack? Have a Jats with some cheese on it. Thanks for watching the video. And you know what? Uh, you betcha. I'll see you again next week. And on that note, um, catch you later.